Huge update. We had to sacrifice a little fuel efficiency, but we got some more speed back. Check it out. We now have two shoelaces. Mismatching because, you know, junkyards only offer certain specs, but more traction, boys. I recently took a poll on my community tab to see what you guys wanted me to do next, and guess what won? The bunt frumper. Front bumper won. You know what I mean. So in this video, we're going to be taking this stock front super bumper and turning it into something awesome. So here's how we're going to address making this bumper look super cool. Now you may have noticed this wood underneath, but that's not wood. You got pranked. <laughs> This is actually sheet metal that I got, but we are going to use this to make ourselves a front splitter. In addition, I have this piece of plastic as well that we're going to use to make an arch, and we're going to be messing with all these areas that have vents, so that way we can update this car and make it look a lot more sleek, a lot more ready to race on the street, which we're not going to do because that's illegal. There is one aspect of this that is really going to be a pain for me. It's going to be this front lip. It's cracked and warped all the way under, but I really need it in order to get the spacing right on the splitter so that way it's not sticking up too high. So here's how we're going to attack this. The first thing that we need to do is get the car jacked into the air so we can fit ourselves underneath. I don't know why jacking up a car is always the hardest thing to do, but it just is. We have this massive piece of cardboard and that is going to represent one of these sheets of sheet metal. Hey, they're actually the same color. That's kind of cool. But we need to take this sheet and stick it underneath the car so we can make ourselves a template. Here's essentially how we're going to make that work. We have our piece of cardboard roughly lined up, kind of where we want it, definitely going to need adjustment. But here's what we're looking at. With this piece, we can now trace out the shape we want for the front splitter. Take your time, get a tape measure, measure out the distance you want on the front, make a bunch of points. And then the second thing we're going to need to do as we trim the under tray is look for points where we want to mount it. So you see that bar right in the center. That's one point that we're looking to mount. Now we're going to need to make a bracket down from that in order to attach right, but that's one area that I'm seeing. A second area is the subframe itself. That one will mesh up quite perfectly and the metal will easily reach to right there. And then the third area will be with struts on the front, but with those three combined mounting points, the front splitter will be plenty strong. So we're going to now trace out exactly what we want our splitter to look like on this piece of cardboard so we could then transfer it to the metal and get it trimmed up.
great news. I found a seized candy chocolate lollipop and it's delicious. Mmm, that was stupid. Anyway, we have our front splitter and under tray cut out. So let's take our sheet metal and now make some mounts for it to hold itself up underneath the car. All right, so I took the time to set this up as best as I could. There's a bunch of supports underneath so that way this is pressed right up against the lip and where I want to mount it in the back. Now this angle is a bit scuffed, but right in the middle of the screen is the subframe that we're going to be attaching the back of this metal to. So that'll hold up the back end. In the middle here, it's again hard to tell and I apologize. There's another bar that we're going to have brackets stick down to and this will attach here in the middle end and for the front we're gonna have brackets that connect to the lip as well as struts in the front but we're actually not gonna do those just yet the front lip is all warped right now so I want to take the bumper off and straighten that out before I make those brackets so I'm gonna go ahead and get those mounts on I apologize because I'm not gonna be able to film it just because the angle that I have isn't something where you'd be able to understand what's going on but I am going to have it all pulled off so I'll be able to show you exactly where I drilled the holes once I get that done 10 years later. I have no idea how I managed to spread out so quickly. I am so good at making messes. All right, so we made the first step done. Now in the back here, I drilled in three holes where we're gonna make the mounts. And then on this middle section, there's a mount here and a mount here that we need to drill out. I didn't drill those out for a specific reason that I'll show you in a second. But again, not doing anything on the outside just yet. So underneath, I made a bracket here and a bracket there on the far side, which are gonna be the two areas that we need to drill out for mounts for the front part of the split. So I'm gonna get those marked up, drilled out, and then we're gonna actually paint the splitter black because while well, it's all off, it's the perfect time to do so. That is starting to look pretty good. And while that is off, we are going to start taking this front bumper off. There are a couple reasons why we need to. One, we need to get this plastic dip off. And as you guys saw with the plastic dip on the trunk, I want to paint strip it because that's the easiest way to do it. In addition, we also need to fix the mount underneath for the lip. Now right in the center of the screen there, you might be able to tell, but it got dented in pretty hard. So we need to pull that back out. Now a lot of it is just metal, so it should be able to come out fairly easily with a little bit of persuasion. And as I'd mentioned a few times before, I need to get some mounts made for that front lip and it'll be much easier to do it off the car. So while this is drying, let's get this off. I fought that front bumper, but little did it know, I was a white belt in karate when I was eight years old. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, Philip, why do you make the decisions that you do? And then I just move on to the next point and never think about it again. Here's the bumper, it's upside down right now and I need to take the slip off, but I wanted to show you the exact issue since it was kind of hard to explain while it was on the car. But you see this gap, yeah, this lip is supposed to go all the way to the edge here, but it doesn't. It's split here and on this corner as well. On the back, there are three brackets, one here, one on the far side, and then one along the middle. This one along the middle is the one that's all janked up. Right here in the center, it's all bowed out to the point where there's no screw right here. But our next step is to take the lip and brackets off so that we can get them all straightened out and then make the mounts for the front splitter. All right, it's the next day. Let's get the front lip off and then get the paint stripper on and that old plastic dip out of mind and out of sight. I am a poet.
Plasti dip is the bane of my existence. That stuff stinks. All right, we've got our bumper mostly cleaned up and here's the plan for the lip and the mounts. I am going to be making L brackets all the way around the side here that will be connected to the front splitter. In essence, it'll connect all the way along the outside of the splitter so that way the ends are held up as well, not flopping around. Look at all those good looking brackets on. They're so cool. Okay, that was very nice. Now let me show you them really quickly so you guys can make yourself the same ones. What these brackets are, are an L piece of aluminum with half facing the front and then on the back we have a rib nut. That's an M6 size. The size is whatever you want, but M6 is the most common size, so I use that. This is the one downside to these brackets is the fact that you have to have rivets in the front or something to hold it onto the lip. Now personally, this isn't something that bothers me, but if it is something for you, then this may not be the way to go, but riveting it onto the front then lets this attached to the lip. Now again, keep in mind that our attachments we just made to the lip aren't the main supports for this front bumper, so that's not the issue. So the new mounts are just to hold the front lip up so it doesn't sag. I also attached a bracket right on the corner where this said split to hold that in place so the lip looks a lot better. Looking from a top-down perspective though, you can see that this still bows in, but this issue will get fixed when we make the mounts on the actual front splitter itself because we could just drill the hole to go out to where it needs to be and when we attach this bracket, it'll hold itself in place and over time this plastic will reform to the shape we want. So the next step for us is to get the front bumper back on the car, get the splitter attached to its mounts that we've already made and then drill out and attach the new holes for the new mounts and then the splitter will be on. You probably noticed that this video is titled how to make your stock front bumper cool and so far we've just been adding a splitter which is like it's awesome it actually will change the look a lot but we're also going to be adding canards after this. Once we get our front bumper back on though I'll show you a couple adjustments that we made because they're really subtle but really effective. Oh man, that looks so cool and we're not even done. That is, oh man, I am quite happy with this. Now I talked about making some subtle changes and here they are. We didn't put back any of the vents on the bottom and what this does is it gives it a much more open look. Now we are gonna put everything back on the middle but on this bottom area, it just makes it look a lot sleeker. The fog lights were all old, dusty, yellowed, broken and the middle grill was faded and it just didn't look that good. So having this open really changes the car a lot. Now the last big thing we have to do is to make canards. So let me show you guys how to make those. So I wanna make a canard that sticks on like this. All it's going to do is attach from the corner here, this fog light goes straight down and go up to the end here where the light would connect. But the issue is the contour here is a little tough to get. Luckily, I have an awesome contour tool and I dropped it. Luckily, I have this awesome contour tool that works while you push it up against something and it takes the exact shape that you need so you could trace out the exact contour you need to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna line this up as best I can right about there. And then I'm gonna take our tool and now I know exactly where this is supposed to go and right there I just push in. Then I pull that back and I'm gonna trace that out on the inside of here and we'll have a new piece good to go. And bam, just like that we have a piece that now fits up really perfectly against the curve and goes exactly how we want it to go. So we're going to take this, trace it out on a piece of plastic, cut that out. We're gonna add a couple L mounts just like we did for the front splitter and attach this up.
Oh, we finished the front buffer and it looks so good. We went from this to this. We added the front splitter, canards, front struts, and then took out all the trim and fog lights from underneath and now we have ourselves a completely upgraded looking bumper. This looks so much better than it did when we first started. Not to mention that we got a bunch of the old Plasti Dip off. Although obviously not all of it. It's still the bane of my existence. I hate Plasti Dip. I am so happy with how this turned out. Now I wanna thank you guys for the suggestion on what part of the car to work on next. I wouldn't have worked on the front bumper yet if you guys hadn't wanted me to. So, so again, check the community tab every now and then for polls. Sometimes I put polls on what you want me to work on next or what direction you want me to go with the car so check there every now and then but aside from that thank you guys so much for watching check link in the description for any merch if you guys want to get yourself a mug a t-shirt a sweatshirt or anything else possibly that might be there thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you would adios